Hello. Today we're doing a reading for Libra. Okay, let's go. Let's keep it easy to shuffle. Let's get onto what Libra's current energy is like. Hello, you're coming out. The hanged man. Except it's reversed. So, the hanged man reversed. You're not quite, you're not hanging anymore. You're not um, in any sort of peril, really. It looks like you're just doing a jig of some sort. Probably falling. So maybe that could be coming into a situation at a fast speed, I suppose. That could be very well what this means, Libra. And so we've got our little glowing head thing. That could be like wisdom and shit. Um, hands on the, uh, not quite hips, but we're a bit defensive about something. Or maybe we're proud. Just Maybe it's like that. Maybe it's like, bitch, I'm like falling into this. So that could be like falling fast into like anything. That could be new job, new relationships, um, literally anything. So we're falling onto, we have a tree. This her tree is like growth. So basically falling into something that brings you growth. There's leaves, like ideas, perhaps just on the ground here ready to be picked up. Um, we got another gray background. So again, that could be like uncertainty in the back of your mind. That's, that's totally fair Libra, like, if something was happening that fast to me, I would, would also be a bit wary of it, a bit defensive of it. Yeah, I mean, look, it, I'm really, because they're like really up high rather than on the hips. Oh, I, I guess they'd be tied behind you because, like, the right way up, he's, like, hanging. So they'd, they'd be behind. Maybe you're hiding a secret from a Libra, maybe, is it? You're hiding something from someone. But no, like, the legs. Mm. I might come back to that if something else comes up. Ooh, okay, what's that about? Okay, so we have what's it number? Four of Swords are reversed. Again, there's a lot of grey, which I see as uncertainty. The figure is above the swords. So it's like you're above the problems, you're on top of your or what you're coming to this is future so this is current prayers current sort of energy this is what is coming up so I'm a bit a bit slow this morning that's all right um so it's like you're on top of most of your problems we do have one above you now so this one is above you so there is one problem on your mind and it maybe seems like bigger than the other problems that you're probably getting dealing with so I think you need to focus on like even though you've got this one problem above you it's just like well you've you've conquered these other things and maybe that's what we need to focus on I do like focusing on the also the glass, the window, where all the colour is. 
So I feel like that's like looking outside yourself to find the other things that's like, you know, maybe you need to call up friends that you haven't seen in a while, which we've done that already, haven't we? And it was fun. Um, yeah, so look, this is about, maybe it's just like because they're both on the bottom, we've conquered some problems with, by looking out, mm. but this is future, so, I think, yeah, friends, family, any sort of, um, other supports that you may have that are external maybe they can help you realize what you have achieved maybe that's something you're struggling with a bit um, yeah well look sometimes it is hard to kind of go look I've overcome all these things when like a pro a problem is looming over you maybe that's all you're thinking about Um, I'm just trying to think how it's different to the, the right way up because the right way up it looks like the people are looking inwards and going hey man we're here to help um, but right now it's sort of like down there so <sighs> because like the right way up is like the problems are above you but okay and then we've got one on the bottom that is <clears throat> I really need to work on my reversals honestly like yeah, so problem below, problem above. So because this one's the same color as you, I feel like it's like enveloping you, taking over you a little bit. It's, it's the same both ways, except I feel like this way, like the right way up, it's like empowering you, but this way it's sort of maybe not, it's like, overtaking everything and maybe that's all you can think about and you're like sleep and all that so yeah I feel like it's just a case of um, much the same as the other one like looking outside for you know ideas inspiration help guidance whatever um, hello Another wrestle, bloody hell. <laughs> a lot of greyness in these cards, these three. A lot of greyness, a lot of uncertainty is going on for Libra. So we have two of wands. Holding on to one wand, one's in the we can take it as future part, like, we can take it as, like, um, past, man. future, past, perhaps. Looking, f well, the, the figure, the right way out was looking forward onto the world, they've got everything, you know, they're probably coming up with a plan, um, no, but reversed. Maybe I feel like it's just really about because now it's yeah it's still past and present. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a bit a bit uncertain about the future. That's what I'm getting from this. There's a lot of uncertainty for Libra at the moment. What else are we getting from Two of Wands? It's very grey. It's very grey. There is distance. There is grey um greenery in the distance. So it's 
so maybe it's a case of looking out and finding the greenness in your life I guess goodness I don't know why I thought to read today because I'm not really getting a lot um, hmm. I'm gonna take these three because they're all reversals maybe you'll feel like your world's upside down a little bit hmm Yeah, I'm going to, that's what I'm getting. Maybe let's see if there's a car that will come up of, you know, apart from looking outwards and, um, you know, asking friends and family or guides or whatever, whoever you turn to. What else can Libra do to sort of get out of this uncertainty? To just feel like they're moving forward or something. Like, what can Libra? What? what? What's our next steps here? Maybe we got this balance. So, uh, what I like about this deck is it's very clear. You don't have to. So, it's about finding balance. Which makes sense because you're a Libra. That's what we do. Why do I say we? I'm not a Libra. That's what you guys do. You were like finding the balance and we need to find balance. I keep saying we. <laughs> anyway, you need to find a balance between like the good and the bad that's going on. And I'm, you know, really looking for those colors. We're so there's got to be things in your life that you can look at and go hey man that's cool <laughs> like little things we can appreciate you can look out the window and be like oh i've got some new weeds growing that's funky <laughs> you know um stuff like that um yeah that's my only really advice i want to see if anything else comes up because it feels unfinished it really does. Mm, typical mental conflict. It, it's very. It's very. Yeah, so we're just going to be careful of like... Because I feel like laborers can see the positives and negatives to most situations they get into. So we, re we really need to side with the positives. Like when there's a situation, instead of going, oh, um, these are all the things that could go wrong, we got to go like, all right, these are all the things that could go right. Like, okay, say we're going to a party. I'm using myself as an example because it's just like, we're going to a party and like the only person I know is the host, right? My, f my first thought is like, I'm not going to know anyone there. And as soon as the host host's gone, it's going to get quite awkward. Now, I would turn that around and be like, all right, well, there could be some nice people there that um, are happy to initiate conversation. I, and I could, like, I could even find the confidence at the time to um, ask people questions myself. And, yeah, you know, like, it could be a really good time. So, like, you know... We, we gotta look at these things and be like you know what even though this scares absolute shit out of me there are some good things that could possibly happen and like even if they don't like it doesn't matter like none of this matters <laughs> none of this fucking matters um so yeah i mean look i get it i get it there bro i get it like, living in uncertainty is shit. Our brains obviously prefer a plan. And, um, 
I think it's okay to, you know, not know what you're doing. Like, we can sit in this and we can ask guides for help and ideas and, like, meditate and stuff. And we can, you know, just try different things. And, it, like, it doesn't matter if they don't work out. Because it gives us an, op an opportunity to um, try something else. And as tiring as that may seem, we got to look at it as... Instead of going like, oh, I've been trying all this shit for years and nothing's been working and uh, we're just going to take this as I get to try a new thing and it's very difficult to take on a new mindset when you've been having, you know, the same mindset for a few years so we just got to really start just flipping it and going all right well that's fine I get to try something new and that's that's cool yeah wow that's been a while heart we uh, we again because we're all one we're all connected and all that bullshit yeah um yeah I hope we got some clarity and something Maybe some ideas to move forward. Um, yeah. If I if I haven't done your sign yet and you've just or maybe like I haven't done your like, your moon or ascendant or whatever, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll probably do it faster and if not then that's fine too. Or if you'd like a private read, let me know. Absolutely no charge because I don't think I don't think people should charge. I like, I, this is my interpretation of the cards, you know? That's how my subconscious works. So it's, if I can help you, like, break down pat like patterns and meanings or whatever, that's cool. But like, you know, it's, it's just fun, so. I'm gonna go now, hope you have a lovely day, whoever you are. Um, chuck us a like if you want. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, I'll see you around.